I could not find another way through. Liberal news service. Oh yeah, this is where Nile works. I love Colonel Richard. He's smart, he's macho, he's fit, he's hot. I'd love to do an exclusive on him. Maybe I'll ask Niall what he thinks of the idea. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Nope. Niall's been up all night doing some kind of research. Bet he's found a hot lead. Um, hog all the glory. Wonder if Niall's here. Oh, well, doesn't look like it. I know that, Cress. Would you two happen to be the junior bracers of Stella and Joshua? I don't know. Who's asking? I'm the editor-in-chief of the Liberal News. I've heard about you two from both Nile and Dorothy. Oh, okay. That's us, then. It's a pleasure to meet you. We're avid readers. Ha, <laughs> glad to hear it. Did you want to see Nile? Uh, not especially. Good, because he's not here. He won't be back for a while. Alright. Well, it looks like we're done here, then. Alright, I guess we're... Just ready for the tournament, except I need to turn in that, uh, that request. Report. Eight, uh, BP, 3,000 Mira. Still second class. Oh, if we end this game off on second class just because of that one freaking mission, I am going to be so peeved. So daggone peeved. Ugh. Alright, so 22,000. I can buy some armor? Shop. Sell. Uh, let's see. So, who does not have good armor? Uh, so, Olivier is missing a shield coat. <clears throat> and both him and Estelle are missing the composites. 246 to 251. <clears throat> let's see. I can buy one thing with the shield coat. Or I can buy... You know, I'm going to buy two of these. Sorry, Stragas, but, uh... Time to get real. Shop. Sell. I should sell these... Well, they're only 500, and together they're only a thousand. Eh. Twenty-five hundred for a celestial bomb. Uh, what's the most expensive thing I got? Well, probably one of my uh, orb mints, but I'm not selling those. Uh, can I get anything? Probably not. Not if I... Quartz. It's not enough for that. Can I get the Action 3? Nope. Alright, looks like we're having to wait on that. <clears throat> Alright, so now I guess it's time we head back to the tournament. Being extra careful. There's the embassy. That's the market. Master Zin, welcome to the Grand Arena. Please note the tournament participants are asked to remain within the arena's walls until the end of uh, the day's matches. Uh... 
I'm gonna cut and I'll meet you right back here. Alright, uh, let's go. Bring it on. <clears throat> blue team room. Fight well. Are we gonna stay blue team? That'd be kind of boring. Oh, there you I don't know which girl that is. Oh, it's Dorothy. Hi, Dorothy. Short time no see. Seeing as how we only just saw each other in Zeiss. Yeah, I know. I never dreamed we'd meet again in this life. I mean, since you got in so much trouble after you boarded that factory ship. So much trouble? Well, well, this bears investigation. Whoa, whoa, wait, Dorothy, can we maybe save that conversation for later? Huh? Anyway, I was going to say your friends here look kind of familiar. I seem to recall encountering you once in the city of Bose. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance once more, my uniquely charming lady. We passed each other by near the hot spring. Oh, I remember now. It's the drink and run guy and the bear in the eastern clothing. So Estelle, are you and Joshua fighting alongside these two in the competition? Yep, that's right. We're on Zen's team, the bear in eastern clothing as you put it. So, what about you? Are you covering the event up for the newspaper? Well, until yesterday I was working on another story. Niall told me this morning that I should check out the martial arts competition to see you guys. You're as strong as he said you were. This is going to make for some great pictures. <laughs> I hope so. Oh yeah, isn't Niall with you? Nah, I guess he had something important to check up on. I think he was up all last night wrestling with a bunch of papers or something. He told me today that he was going to talk to an old acquaintance. I see. Oh, and he wanted me to pass a message on to you. He wants you to come by the editorial department this evening. Whatever it is, he made it sound serious. Hmm, okay. We'll go after today's matches. Ah, uh, serious conversation, my old nemesis. Well, don't let... Uh, let it get you down. Uh, what? Oh, would you stop it? It doesn't even have anything to do with you. How very cruel, Estelle. And after our passions burned so strongly together just yesterday. Am I merely... Am I merely refused to be discarded when circumstances afford me no immediate use? Would you please stop talking like that? Wow, Estelle, I had no idea. Isn't he a little old for you, though? He's not talking about the turn. He's talking about the tournament. But you're better off just ignoring everything he says either way. I'm going to go ahead and find a good seat so I can get the best shots. I'll be rooting for you guys. Good luck. I mean, given how she takes photography, I don't think a seat's going to matter. She's quite the unique sort of girl, isn't she? <sighs> Between her and all of you, I just get so drained. That just means we're relieving your stress before the match. She is a pretty skilled photographer, at least. Most of the photographs uh, that have been published in the liberal news lately were taken by her. Hmm, impressive. In that case, we'll have to make sure that we fight... Uh, that our fight is, uh, one worth taking pictures of. Yeah, no kidding. I don't know who we're facing, but we need to get psyched. Like I said, my bet is us against the Kapuas, uh, uh, Kurt's team against them, and then in the last match, we're going to be fighting the, um, <coughs> the investigation unit. They're late. The match is due to start soon, so where's the other team? It is kind of strange. Maybe something's holding them up, or... Come on, get a move on. We're moving, we're moving. Quit rushing us, alright? Uh-oh. 
Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Don't uh, get all sad on us now. We need to keep our spirits up in case we end up fighting them today. <clears throat> Am I wrong? We're not fighting the Kapuas? Bah! You. So it was your team. <laughs> I should have known uh, they wouldn't show up in a timely fashion. <laughs> Guess we won't be fighting you all a uh, lot today after all. Okay, so in that case, my prediction is we're fighting the other Bracers, and then these guys are going to be fighting the, the Special Investigation Unit. Huh, looks like you got lucky this time. I've been hoping we'd get matched up with you so we could give you the uh, She-Man there a lesson. Oh, you did not. Hey, no idle chatter. Or did you forget that it's only by his grace generosity that you're even in this competition? Come on, soldier. Come now, soldier. You don't need to worry about this. Have we not been well behaved so far? And I just hope you, de uh, you decide to keep that up until you go back to jail. Don't even talk to them. You don't make any trouble and we won't make you uh, trouble for you. I don't think there will be a problem. Uh, they want to clobber us tomorrow, after all. T I think you know this, but there is a full company of soldiers uh, here on security detail. Don't even start imagining uh, that you have any chance of escaping. Oh, we know already. We're not idiots. Huh. You guys are real eyesores. Uh, you guys are a real eyesore, so why don't you just go already? You little... Don't let this kid provoke you. Just don't try any funny business. Hey, what's going on? How'd you guys wind up in the martial arts competition? Is it really because Duke Dunan allowed it? Yeah, seems that way. He supposedly called for us specifically to participate. The better we do, the lighter our sentence gets. You're... You've gotta be kidding me. Hmm, this is... There's a, uh, that's a little strange for a con uh, constitutional monarchy. <laughs> it seems the Duke is a mischievous sort. Well, you won't uh, see us complaining. I'd rather work off my sentence than spend it in prison. But then, that's not the only reason. What's that supposed to mean? I shut it. It ain't any of your business anyhow. It matters to us. So if you're not here to fight us, then are you here to take on the special ops soldiers? What? How? Damn straight we are. They were supposed to be our allies, and they screwed us over. They used us to help expand the intelligence division's influence, then toss us aside. We're idiots, plain and simple. We got double-crossed. And that really sucks. Yeah, I suppose so. Come to think of it, I feel kind of bad for you guys. Listen, we don't want your p damn pity. You owe us, and don't you forget it. Huh? What do you mean by that? Ha! <laughs> don't you remember the last time we met? It'd be a bad thing if you know who found out you snuck into a Lyston Fortress, right? Oh. We don't take uh, those jerks too. We don't like those jerks too much either. So, we didn't say anything about you. Ha! You ought to thank us. Huh? Indeed, thank you for keeping it to yourselves. This certainly sounds interesting. I'd love to hear more. You hush! It was nothing! Whoops. I'd hate to interrupt, but I think we're starting shortly. We must apologize to everyone for the long wait. We now open the second day of the martial arts competition. Let's start up uh, by announcing the fight card for the fifth match. Southside, blue team from the Calvert Republic, captained by uh, martial arts master Zinn. Northside, red team from the Bracer Guild Grantso branch, Kurt's team. Here we go. We're going to actually be fighting against Karnas crew. This won't be easy. We need to make sure that we don't get in Zin's way. No need to be so cautious. 
Your assistance will be just as good as any full-fledged racer. All we need to do is focus on winning. Right. We'll do our best. <laughs> Let us be off to glory. Alright, well, let's get going. Uh, any final prep I need? I'm just looking good. Do I have another attack three? No. Alright, let's go. Hey guys, so you made it. Hi, you rookies. <laughs> Hi, you two. We gave as uh, good as we got. Zin the Immovable. I always wanted to go up against you at least once. What do you say uh, we see if my sword can match up to your skill? Ha! Huh. Fine by me. Just... But just to warn you, I'm not big on pulling my punches. Ha. Huh. Well, I was hoping uh, to fight in the final round. I guess we'll see who fate favors today. On one hand, you have an advanced group of veteran bracers. On the other hand, a talented group of novice bracers and one genius performing musician. I imagine even Adios herself might have difficulty at guessing the outcome. We now begin the fifth match of the No Holds Barred Tournament. Both teams, go to your starting places. Take your positions. Begin. It still says preliminaries. This is not the preliminaries. Hey, he has Hurricane too. Alright, uh... Let's go dual strike. That's some decent damage. Does he do no damage to me? Wait, what's Saint? Temporarily increases an ally's parameters. Strength and defense plus 25%. Alright, uh... Let's throw some rocks. I want to keep it close to him because they're probably going to start moving close. Uh-oh. Uh, Zin's fine, at least. Zin, go ahead and uh, distend. And then Estelle will use her morale. Grant special. Oh, hey, you stopped me. <gasps> All right, then, fine. Nope, can only get three of them. Quick draw. I rose two of them. <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh man, alright, let's go and smite someone. Now she's confused. <laughs> she won this. Ow. Alright, uh. Let's go with. Shadow Spear. Stay frozen. Here you go. Man, he's getting all the turns. Another hurricane. Alright. Here you go. Quick draw. And I froze him too. <laughs> oh, I love this. Might. Ah, oh, the big damage. Can I flicker? Yes. Ha 
<laughs> Attack your frozen teammates. Is he still active? Yeah, Grant's still active. Alright. There you go. I'm just going to punch you. <laughs> Alright, this is... Uh, I apologize, but this is sad. I'm not close enough. Move closer to Zen. Olivier, not close enough either. Stone Impact. Freeze. <laughs> you killed your own teammate. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, that is so good. Let's finish her off. Or get close. Not quite there yet. Smite? Yes. I love how we, like, move them out of the ice. It's kind of funny. Uh, quick draw. Oh, did she lose her status? Aw, oh, that sucks. He's gonna thaw out soon, isn't he? <laughs> She's down. And now, Zin. Finish him. Or get close, you know. <laughs> he died for frostbite. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's just that we barely laid a hand on them. Oops, someone leveled up. I think it was Olivier. Yep. Level 31. Oh. Uh. KO, winner is Zin's team. Let's see. Kurt was frozen most of the time, so was uh, Karna. Grant, uh, he put up the most fight. Um, and then the other girl, uh, she, she was confused most of the fight and killed off Karna. I never thought that Zin the Immovable was really that capable. You guys were no slouches yourselves. Zen, were we part of the same match there? <laughs> that was a curb stomp if I ever seen one. I don't think I'd w have won if not for the others backing me up. I mean, that could be true. <laughs> I mean, Olivier did freeze two of them. Did... did we win? Yeah, not sure how though. Guys, were we part of the same battle? Don't be so modest. You may have had Zin with you, but you each pulled your own weight. <sighs> Annalise. I knew fighting uh, Shara's students was going to be tough, but I had no idea the black-haired kid would be such a tough cookie. <laughs> and I was thinking that the this girl was going to put me to sleep. Perhaps later we can discuss each other's strengths over a glass of wine. I'll give it a rest. Whoa, 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 not bad at all. No kidding. That was a pretty exciting match. <laughs> I suppose it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Why, thank you. So, what's the deal? Why are you guys congratulating us? Got a fever or something? We're not even congratulating you, you little punk. It's just that it would be annoying to lose so easily to the group that drove us up a wall. You've got a snappy comeback for everything, don't you? Come on, Estelle. Thank you very much. I know a lot has happened between us, but we... Uh, and still, you cheered us on. We appreciate it. What? I'm trying to tell you that we're not cheering you on. Next up is the sixth match. 
Southside Blue Team, the Sky Bandits, aka the Kapua family, captained by Don Kapua. Northside Red Team from the Royal Army Intelligence Division, captained by Second Lieutenant Lawrence. All right, finally time. Time to teach those uh, sneaky assholes a lesson. Maybe this uh, is how it was destined to play out. Our fingers are crossed for you. Good luck. Watch out for their commanding officer. Keep him pinned down, uh, and you'll have a fighting chance. Uh, okay. I mean, uh, shut up. It's none of your business anyway. <clears throat> Just that has a little crush now. Everyone has a, every woman has a crush on Joshua, even all of you. Yo, little Mister Master Avenger. I've been wa waiting for a chance to pay you what, uh, pay back what I owe you. <laughs> yeah, we really ought to thank the Duke for this chance. Huh. <laughs> What's so damn funny? You are orphans of the Kapua family, one of Erebonia's ruined noble families. You lost your territory to a corrupt merchant and only survived by taking uh, to air piracy. I was just thinking about uh, what a touching story that is. Wh what the hell? How do you know about that? Did you forget that we're part of the intelligence division? You'd be better off abandoning your little quest for revenge and just serving your time quietly. It does seem that you're trying to go straight, at least. You what? You sure do love to run your mouth, don't ya? Time for you to taste a few, a uh, few oil-powered bullets. We now begin the sixth match of the No Holds Barred tournament. Both teams go to your starting places. Take your positions. Begin. Oh god, they have shadow weaving. Well, goodbye to that soldier. Yeah, they don't have a chance. <laughs> uh, this is going to take a little while, though. Yeah, the commit. There we go. Twelve forty-eight. Mm-hmm. You'll take out some of the lackeys, I'd imagine, but. Against him, I don't see you guys standing much of a chance. You're even losing to the lackeys. Oh god, you stand no chance. Shadow weaving, they're already dead. Josette's gonna be the first to fall, isn't she? Oh, <clears throat> I can't remember all of the, I only, it's the middle one that I can't remember the name of. I remember Don and I remember Josette. Oh, he's down. Shadow weaving, Josette's down. <laughs> Just whack him with a cannon. And there they go. KO, winner is Lawrence's team. Ah, oh, man, they lost. They were doing pretty well at first. It all fell apart when that fellow in red started in on them, though. Hmm, definitely not an opponent to be trifled with. I don't think he was even trying as hard as he could. I can't get a decent read on his real strength. Please tell me that you're joking. No, I think it's the truth. That last technique just didn't feel like it was even all that focused. He's still got plenty we haven't seen yet. 
that's just crazy. Uh, I'm sorry, you guys. Don't try to cheer us up, please. We got slaughtered out there. Damn it. And my support tactics weren't so worthless. It wasn't your fault. I'm the one who wasted all that energy on attacks that didn't do anything. Well, hey, sometimes it comes down to more than just who's stronger. We're going to get him back for you when we fight him tomorrow. What? <laughs> you make it sound so simple. I'm not fond of promising what I'm not sure I can deliver. A battle has to be won in the mind before it can be won in the flesh. What a fine saying. Tis as if you and Estelle speak the same, uh, with the same mind, but you, sir, with more golden tongue. <laughs> Looks like you're finally done. Alright, no hanging a bow. Back to the docks with you. You've got to be kidding. We just got done fighting. Can't you give us a few minutes to rest? You know, for uh, uh, hardened criminals, you sure act like spoiled brats. Come on, now get moving. Bah. I'm so worn out. Hey, bracer jerks. What? We aren't going to be here tomorrow. But you better... You damn well better win. If you let those assholes beat you, then you're going to have hell to pay. Of course we're going to win. Who do you think uh, you're talking to here? We'll win. I swear it. Are you done? Enough stalling. 40,000 Mira! Uh, so now we gotta go talk to Nile. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Again. <laughs> It's a curve song victory if I've ever seen one. Tomorrow's the final match. We're uh, really going to have to keep our spirits up because that's going to be one tough match. So I uh, propose that we go to the bar and let it all hang out, so to speak. <laughs> I like the way you think, good sir. I should like to join you. So this is adult logic. We got some stuff we have to do, so not tonight for us, I think. No problem. See you later then. We'll meet up with you tomorrow morning out front. Good night, my sweethearts. Now let's see. I'll bet Niles waiting for us, so why don't we go to the Liberal News Service and see what he has to say. Yeah, hopefully he managed to learn something useful about uh, those Intelligence Division members. Oh, man. Does the plot thicken indeed. Alright, so... Got one more day left. Gonna make a safety save. Just be sure. I can make all the safety saves I want. Sunny Bell in. Don't want that. Bracer Guild. Estelle, Joshua, I offer my congratulations. Shame to hear of Kurt's uh, loss, but I hear it was a very good match. Yeah, it was pretty intense. I, wonder, I wouldn't go patting us on the back just yet, though. We weren't better than Kurt, not by a seed. True, we just got lucky. We had Zinn along with all of your guns and magic to cover for our mistakes. They're the only reason we've made it uh, as far as we have. Two are very humble. Rare quality these days. By the way, have you learned any more information? Well, we talked to a reporter from the Liberal News into collecting some intel on our behalf, er, perhaps. On my behalf, and his be for us. We were just about to check in with him and see what he found out. The Liberal News? You have friends in relatively high places, it would seem. I look forward to your report. All right, uh, back to it. Let's go see Nile. 
It's this building, right? Yep. Wonder where he is. Here he is. Hey, Nile. Pardon us. Hey, you're here. Amazing. Dorothy actually got the message to you guys and didn't screw it up. Well, will miracles never cease? Have you got some info? So, I hear you won your match today. Dorothy was in a, an absurdly cheerful mood when she got back from it. Huh, cool. Nile, about what we discussed earlier. Uh, straight to business, I see. Take a look. Got some background on those big shots. Now, uh, held out a black file folder. Is this from the Royal Army? Yeah, nothing super secret, but I was able to get out some documents. Let's just say they're on loan from some of my army contacts. But keep that under your hat, okay? Absolutely. Well, let's see... <clears throat> let's see... Oh god, I've lost it. <laughs> let's go ahead and read it here. Stella and Joshua opened up the black folder. Uh, let's start with Colonel Richard. Colonel Alan Richard, born 1168 uh, in the Ruan region of Liberal. So he's Ruan, huh? Graduated head of his class from the military academy, later assigned to the mobile task force led by Cassius Bright. 1192, recognized for uh, distinguished service under Cassius Bright in the Hundred Days War. Appointed to staff of the military operations office after Colonel Bright's retirement. 12, 1201, suggested uh, formation of intelligence division. Queen Alicia approves the request and appoints him as the first commander of the new branch. Wow, pretty impressive. Well, he is the man, uh, the man in charge. He always seemed to be pretty sharp. Looks like Major Sid was right about uh, him serving under Dad 10 years ago. So Dad really was a colonel. I wonder why he retired. I mean, he had respect and fame and all that. Captain Mal Amalthea. Captain Canone uh, Amalthea. Born 1175 in Liberal's capital city of Gransill. Her excellent grades at the military academy earned her a place on the staff of the military operations office short shortly after graduation. 1201. Reassigned to the newly formed Intelligence Division on Colonel Richard's recommendation. Later appointed as Colonel Richard's uh, aide... I apologize if I butchered this. Aide de camp. Uh, assisting directly with military operational uh, command. Excellent grades again? Another intelligence intellectual big shot, it looks like. That appointment means that she's... I've uh, been working for Colonel Richard for a long time. No wonder she's so loyal to him. <clears throat> and then Lawrence. Second Lieutenant Lawrence Belgar. Agent uh, nationality unknown. A member of Jester who was invited by Colonel Richard to join the Intelligence Division. Previous activities unknown. He's been in disguise all along. He's not even from Liberal. What's up with his old job as a mercenary being one a big blank spot? I don't know. Jager uh, cor uh, corps are known as the best mercenaries in the business for good reason. No kidding. So maybe the colonel was just looking for a really skilled fighter? It's a possibility. And I think I've heard uh, this jester somewhere before. And that'd be it. Thanks for this, Nile. At least uh, we know a little more about who we're dealing with. As long as it's useful. I've learned a few juicy tidbits while I was digging around too. Juicy tidbits? For example, First Lieutenant Julius Schwartz of the Royal Guardsmen, currently wanted for questioning, was in the capital. Uh, was in the academy the same year as Captain Amalthea. Really now? They never gave off the impression that they got along all that well. Maybe because they were Academy rivals? Kind of... Kind of... Kind of... Kind of... Got the brains and Julius got the combat skills. Pretty big difference there. 
I see. I'd imagine so. Looks like Julia's always been the super serious knightly type, huh? Next up, and this has nothing to do with the military, mind you. You kids know about uh, Princess Claudia, right? Princess Claudia, sounds familiar. Memory serves, she was orphaned when uh, the crown prince and his wife died. She's the granddaughter of Her Majesty, Queen Alicia. Right, she's not well known, but she is the direct uh, descendant of the queen. From what I could dig up, she lives in the Royal Keep and pretty much stays there most of the time. And it seems someone's been looking for uh, prospective marriage candidates for her. Huh. That's not super unusual for rich families, but still, just gross. That's not the point. The issue here is, who is uh, this someone? Ha, <laughs> spot on, kid. It could be... <clears throat> Hey, not bad, kid. As always, Colonel Richard. It's up to everything now. It is Colonel Richard who's been so, uh, scouring foreign countries for a suitable candidate, it looks like. I knew it. But isn't that kind of weird? Why would he even be involved in setting up an arranged marriage? Pretty interesting, ain't it? And now there's something I want from you two. Huh? You want us to win the tournament and get some information at the dinner party, right? Is that about, uh, the long and short of it? Oh, okay. You're not shy about asking, uh, for stuff, are you? Hey, I got you information. This is called give and take, sweetheart. <clears throat> True, and it's been helpful. Oh, alright. We'll let you know if we find anything. That's what I like to hear. Though if all goes well today, I might not even need to rely on you two. Uh-oh. Excuse me for a sec. Hello, Liberal News. Oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you to call in. What? Starting now? Okay, got it. Meet you there. What's going on? I'm guessing that was Dorothy. Sorry to cut and run on you, but I've got to go meet someone. Sounds like you're in for a late night. The sun's going down as it is. Hey, I'm a night owl anyways. I'm only up during the daytime while the crazy chick is being trained. But hey, no biggie. You kids can just kick back and relax while I'm out. Gotcha. Good luck with your work. You too. Don't screw up tomorrow's match. Ah, uh, they keep putting pressure on me. Well then, what should we do now? Hmm, I guess we should stop by the guild, then go back to the hotel. We ought to report the info that Niall got for us. Fine by me. Oh, man. So we know nothing about the second lieutenant. Know a little bit about Colonel Richard and a little bit about Amalthea. Who the more I hear about, the more... Uh... I promised I went, uh, would quit smoking and find a job. And my wife said we could go and see the finals. We can do this. I hope you do, man. 